Hello. So in this video, we'll be seeing about the concept called DARE, data encryption at rest. So hope you have heard about this concept, data encryption at rest. So this is kind of a solution for security of data. <coughs> and this particular feature is available in Isilon as well. So to achieve this feature, Isilon uses SED drives. That's nothing but the self encrypting drives, which are self encrypting so they can encrypt their self and decrypt their self on their own with the usage of 1fs so this scd drives are <clears throat> not like a normal drive and they are a little bit costly and you can use only scd drives in one particular node and you cannot mix the scd drives and the normal drives so this scd drives in a combination with the encryption key management with the 1fs is used for this particular uh, data encryption at rest feature so this uh, SED drives use AES 256 cipher and each SED has its own unique data encryption key so with this key the data will be able to the data will be encrypted and decrypted by only this encryption key that is written to the disk so one of us <clears throat> automatically generates the authentication key that wraps and secures the, the data encrypted key. So this means that the data which is removed on the SED will not be able to uh, able to be uh, again retrieved when it's outside a isolon as the key is with the isolon itself. And when it's going when it is going for an uh, wiping of data, so Isilon will um, in this SED drives the encryption key will be wiped off so that you will not be able to retrieve the data again. So this particular shredding is done using the cryptographic erasure method and data encryption at rest this feature satisfies the industry standard and regulation compliance for the uh, DARE which includes US federal FIPS. 104 level 2 and as well PCA DSS version 2 section 304 so these are the options that are available in DARE so you can use DARE and this can be achieved on a separate cluster and this particular data encryption address cannot be combined with the normal node and uh, with the um, dare node so that's all about the data encryption rest we'll see on the next lecture